Anyone who knows anything about the origins of Halloween knows that in the Western Christian Church, the Feast of All Saints falls on November the 1st. But in the Orthodox Church, the Feast of All Saints falls on the Sunday after Pentecost. The New Testament tells us the Holy Spirit is the gift of sanctification within us. So the connection between Pentecost and All Saints is obvious. We take the Sunday after Pentecost to honor the memory of all those who have embraced that gift of sanctification and those whom the Holy Spirit has revealed to be our great heroes of the faith. For us in this world, role models of dedication and discipleship, and in heaven, our constant intercessors before the throne of God. The Holy Spirit is the gift of sanctification within us, but this gift is something that requires action on our part. We receive the gift from God, but we must accept that gift and we must unpack it every day of our lives. In the Orthodox Church, it is said that in our baptisms, we are given everything necessary to become a saint. It is all there in potential. The Holy Spirit is poured upon us at our baptisms and our chrismations. Our job, our part, is to open up that gift every day of our lives. This is that concept of synergy, that we must conform our will to the will of God. It is the will of God that all are saved and come to know the truth. We then must embrace that gift of salvation and live by that truth every day of our lives. And that truth is not a thing. It is a person. It is Jesus Christ himself. And how do we know the truth? Through the Holy Spirit, whom we hear in the Gospel of John leads us into that truth. By receiving the Holy Spirit, we have two things at play. First of all, we have everything that we need to grow in the truth, to grow in, our, in the image of Christ in our lives. But we also then have this calling through being a vessel of the Holy Spirit to conduct ourselves in ways that actually honor the fact that we are carrying God within us. Whenever I go to visit somebody in the hospital or nursing home or a shut-in and take them Holy Communion, I'm always so aware of the fact that I am taking the Eucharistic gifts, I am carrying Christ on me. And I try to conduct myself in a way that honors that. We need to be that aware of the presence of the Holy Spirit within us, that we are always carrying Christ. And as much as that gives us the gift of sanctification, and that the work of the Holy Spirit is much more in our lives than anything we can work for ourselves, we still have to accept that gift and to live and to honor it in our lives, to not waste it, to not neglect it. Through the Holy Spirit, we are also the bearers of Christ. In every moment of our lives, in every interaction, in every condition and situation. The saints are the ones who were acutely aware of this, leading lives that honor God, that reflect his love for the world, that embrace his truth, and that glorify him in words and thoughts and actions. Every one of us can be a saint. That's our calling. It's our challenge. The icons in our churches, in our homes, the presence of these saints, the images of them, they are both for us an encouragement and that challenge, to embrace that gift of the Holy Spirit, to unpack it in our lives, and to live in a way that glorifies God, that opens our hearts to the operation of the Holy Spirit, so that we can grow closer to Christ, but not just within proximity, but also in his likeness, and that we can truly live up to this calling, to set ourselves apart, to glorify God, and to serve his holy will. This is what it means to be a saint. The great heroes of our faith receive this title because they are the examples, they are the shining examples for us. But it is a life that we are all called to. It is a life that we can all achieve by our own dedication and endurance, and ultimately by the grace of God through the gift of the Holy Spirit. To God be all glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.